Hello everyone. Today we will talk about how to calculate earning per share EPS. We know that EPS equals to EVIT minus interest multiplied by 1 minus tax rate minus preference dividend whole divided by number of equity shares. In Excel, we will explain with the help of an example. In this question, we have two cases. In the both the cases, EBIT is 2,50,000. In both cases, capital structure or rupees 25 lakh. In case 1, we have equity or rupees 25 lakh. In case 2, 50% equity and 50% debt. This implies equity or rupees 12,50,000 and debt of rupees 12,50,000 at the rate of interest 15%. And the tax rate is given 30%. To calculate EPs in case 1, first we take EBIT. EBIT is 2,50,000. In this question, if we take interest, the rate of interest multiplied by the amount of debt. But in this part, there is no debt, so there is no interest. To calculate EBT, we use EBIT minus interest, which equals to 2,50,000. To calculate tax, we use equal tax rate multiplied by EBT. The amount is 75,000. To calculate EAT earning after tax, we use EBT minus tax. So amount is 175,000. Similarly, we'll calculate in case 2 EBIT 250,000 minus interest. Interest is 15% of 12,50,000. Earning before tax equals to EBIT minus interest and tax. Tax we know that 30% of earning before tax. So earning after tax equals to EBT minus tax. As we know that to calculate earning per share, we use the formula earning after tax divided by number of equity shares. So in case one, we have earning after tax 1,75,000 which is divided by number of shares. In the case 1, we have 25,000 equity shares. So the EPS is rupees 7. In case 2, earning after tax is available 43,750 divided by number of equity shares in this case is 12,500. So the EPS is 3.5. So we can see that EPS in case 1 is double the EPS of case 2. whereas the EBI in the both cases are same. Hope it is helpful.